We're going to do a little demonstration of amphoteric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a milliliter of zinc nitrate, put it right there. And then I'm going to take another milliliter and put it over here. And we're going to show how a compound can be both an acid and a base. So the first thing I need to make my compound, so I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide to that. And as I add that, you'll see a white precipitate form. Kind of looks like a ghost or something spooky. So we now have zinc hydroxide in both of those. And so just that little fuzziness there you're seeing is the actual chemical. Now the zinc hydroxide is what is amphoteric. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to continue to add a lot of hydroxide to it. And so I'm adding a base to it and the zinc hydroxide is going to react with that base to form something. And you're going to tell that it's able to form something because when I shake this, you're going to see that all of that precipitate is going to go away. And you can already see some of it going away currently. And so we've taken that from having a bunch of precipitate to not. Okay, so we've reacted this with base, which means that our zinc hydroxide, therefore, was acting as an acid. And the other one, I'm going to take the zinc hydroxide and I'm going to add acid to it. And I'm going to try and do this just on the one side at first, so you can kind of see this. So now we can see that it's starting to react with the precipitate. And I'm going to add a little more over here. And just like before, I'm going to give that a swirl. And you can see that my zinc hydroxide is now gone for both. I've reacted it to form something new by doing an acid-base reaction as well as doing uh, a base-acid reaction. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mix the two together. And when I do that, the acid and base that I've added are going to somewhat neutralize. And you're going to see that my zinc hydroxide will reform as those two are neutralized. We're going to do a demonstration with zinc hydroxide. We're going to talk about being amphoteric. So what I have set up here is I have two petri dishes on an overhead projector. That's projecting onto the wall over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit, about a milliliter of 0.2 molar zinc nitrate here in this one. And another milliliter of zinc nitrate here in this one. Okay. What we're then going to do is we're going to add a little bit of sodium hydroxide to it. Now the sodium hydroxide is more concentrated. When we do that, you should see the formation of a precipitate. And so you can see that cloudiness there present on the overhead that wasn't there before. We'll do the same thing over here. And so we have zinc hydroxide present in both of these. And zinc hydroxide is something that's amphoteric. And that means that it can act as an acid or a base. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hydrochloric acid. And I'm going to mix it with this one. And I'm going to try and mix it just over here at first. So you can see that I'm forming the solution over here. And then that's slowly dissolving away the precipitate. So I still have some precipitate here, a little bit here, a little bit here, but when I swirl it around and let it mix, the acid is reacting with the zinc hydroxide and end up with a clear and colorless solution. So what we see there is that we have an acid reacting with a base, the zinc hydroxide is therefore acting as a base, but in the other one, what I'm going to do, instead of adding hydroxide to it, I'm going to add sodium, or instead of adding hydrochloric acid to it, sorry, I'm going to add sodium hydroxide to it. And the sodium hydroxide is going to do the same visual process as the hydrochloric acid, although it's going to be a little more timely. It's going to take a little bit more because I don't have quite as concentrated a base. But this is also going to react with the zinc hydroxide. And so we have sodium hydroxide, a base, reacting with zinc hydroxide, an acid. 
And so it turns out that the hydroxide component of this is capable of acting as, an, as a base. There you go, we can see that that precipitate is now gone, and we now have two clear colorless solutions. What's going on there is that the zinc is capable of acting as an acid, while the hydroxide is capable of acting as a base, and so the two together can react with either acid or base, and therefore they are amphoteric.